had a ride a bike with poor suspension. The MT09, beautiful bike, absolute top quality. Suspension, yeah, not so good. Not so good indeed. -y. Fuck off! So what you want to do is think of this one word and it's called settle. Right, because if you grab a hand for the brake on the front, it dips, unsettles the bike, back goes really light, all the weights onto the front, not the perfect situation to be in. A lot of people will tell you, you don't use the back brake, but I like to think of trail braking. Yeah, trail braking is the answer to riding a bike that's got poor suspension. It really is. And as I say, like, I like to settle the bike using the front and back brake, and then I'll drag the back brake slightly going into the bend, just to keep the bike settle, keep that front suspension compressed just a little. And as I say, it seems to work for me. I say, why don't you give it a try? As I say, uh, it works better on like long sweeping bends as you enter into them. This road's gonna kill me, it's absolutely nothing but traffic. As I say, you've got to be smooth on that throttle. Right, you've got to be smooth on the throttle. Wait for the exit before you accelerate. Keeping everything nice and tidy and settled. Settled is the word to think of, yeah? Keeping it all nice and level and smooth. Makes for a great entry and exit. Okay, as I say, in, little drag on the back, keeping it smooth, holding it on the throttle. Holding it, holding it, holding it, change of direction, and it's gentle acceleration out. Straight line the wiggly bits, don't need to worry about them. And as I say, keeping it smooth. Smooth and settled is the way to ride a bike that's got soft, soggy, horrible suspension. I mean, there are a few things you can do like making sure it's set up the best it can be with the components you've got. If you don't know how to do that yourself, take it to a decent suspension specialist. Oh, back down to 40. Take it to a uh, decent suspension spe uh, spe specialist so you can get the best out of what you have got. Tyres, always make sure your tyres are round. It sounds stupid, but I'm not mean right round as in round. I mean right round as in profile. Yeah, make sure it's got a decent profile on it. Make sure you haven't done like five, six thousand miles on it. Can't expect a bike to handle well if it's got square tyres. Didn't really sound like that, but I'll, I'll, I'll leave it in. I won't edit any of this out. I, I'm all for like, the, the one take edit. So yeah, as I say, like all I'll do is like this MT09, beautiful chassis, average brakes, beautiful engine, terrible suspension. But you can ride it okay. It can sort of like keep up with the the best of the best. I don't know if you've seen my video, um, me up against the, uh, which one was it, the uh, 765, yeah, yeah, I guess the uh, 765, the Street Triple R, yeah, I'll put a link up, I think it's over that side, I'll put a link up over there, so you can have a quick squint at that, and as I say, I kept up with him, till he went Looney Tunes around a bend, and I'm like, yeah, and uh, he is an actual race instructor. He actually teaches how to ride bikes fast. So even like, even though his bike's got decent suspension, and this one hasn't, 
it doesn't mean you're left too far behind. But as I said, like going into a nice long sweeping bend, try and get the bike settled, a bit of trail braking. If you don't know what trail braking is, look it up on the internet. But what I do add to that is I do drag the back brake very slightly just to keep it settled. Sounds stupid, I know. Everyone will tell you not to do that, but it's just what I found that works and works for me. Go away to the phone. Can't you see I'm out riding my motorbike? How very dare you try to interrupt me. And of course there's loads of components to riding a bike decently. Throttle control is probably one of them, especially coming up to and in the bends. Don't chomp and chump and like e -e 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 -e. Keep everything smooth. Smooth and settled. That's what you gotta do. Any bike will hustle through a bend if you keep it uh, smooth and settled. And then when you go we get to ride a decent bike, hey ho! Your riding skills would have improved. Improved a lot. Whoa, bit of damp road there, mate. Don't like that. Woo! Don't like wheel. Oh, I won't go out wheel though. We won't, we won't do nothing silly here. We'll just, um, let's say, respect to other road users. Suspension's terrible. Yeah.